Welcome to SkyTrain, the most visible part of the Sydney Metro Northwest. While most of Sydney's new railway network is below ground, in Australia's longest railway tunnels, the 4km SkyTrain delivers new Metro trains into the heart of Sydney's Northwest. From Bella Vista to Rouse Hill, the SkyTrain includes a landmark 270 metre cable stayed rail bridge over Windsor Road similar in design to Sydney's Anzac Bridge. The SkyTrain is a great innovation, which means the new Metro line won't cut communities in two. Instead, people will be free to move around under it, including the 50,000 cars a day that use Windsor Road. The SkyTrain is being built using two state-of-the-art launching gantries, or horizontal cranes. A feat of modern engineering, these gantries work up to 20 metres in the air, lifting into place the pre-made concrete segments which will form the deck of the SkyTrain. These gantries arrived in Sydney's northwest in more than 23,000 pieces, loaded in 182 containers. Assembling and then lifting the gantries is a precision operation involving a range of specialists like engineers, surveyors and crane operators. Using two 500 tonne cranes, it requires a carefully choreographed manoeuvre of metal and a constant eye on the heavens. So one of the main factors that can affect the job will be the wind, the rains as well. So all the, all the weather conditions, they will be uh, continually monitored. The launching gantry is made up of steel beams called trusses and has a completed length of 150 metres. It weighs in at a massive 600 tonnes and will be used to lift a series of concrete segments weighing between 65 and 140 tonnes. Starting at both ends, the two gantries will move to the middle of the SkyTrain at a rate of about 70 metres a week. They're expected to meet near the intersection of Windsor Road and Old Windsor Road in Kellyville. We are going to work with the tandem configuration. With our launching gantry, we will be able to lift 20 segments per time. The Kajigong Roadside gantry will also build the Windsor Road bridge as it makes its way to Kellyville.